I'm just a love machine. I'm just a love machine. Huh? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we have got an exciting video to film. I'm excited. Yes. So in today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be playing with the Revolution Collection 3, Series 3. I feel like it's called like Series 3. However, on this little leaflet that they sent me, it's Collection 3. But I'm pretty sure on the first two ones, it was like Season 1 and Season 2. But yeah, here we are. So we have the new Revolution collection, Revolution of Friend X Friends collection. I'm excited. I'm excited. So they have sent me a few bits, but I also have purchased a few bits as well because they didn't send me the full collection. Um. So yeah, I wanted to purchase a few things, and yes, yes. I haven't got everything within the collection that's like online, that kind of thing. However, I will go through the whole collection with you. And I'll show you the things that I've got as well. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So if you haven't seen my other videos with the Series 1 and the Series 2 collection, I will try and remember to link all the videos up in the cards or in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. Because I have done a few videos on like the palettes, that kind of thing. So yeah, just a little heads up. So for this collection, they have released some pretty cool stuff. There's some pretty cool stuff in this one and... Yes, I'm excited to kind of like share it with you guys. So yeah, um, like I said, they, they did send me a few bits, but I also did purchase a few bits. Um, so I'll show you the things that I purchased first because there are some quite cute things here. I didn't purchase too much because actually I purchased these all like yesterday and I thought I was would be getting PR from them. I'd be getting. I thought I would be getting something from the collection. Um, so I did purchase a couple of bits, but I didn't want to go crazy. Um, I obviously want to save my pennies for if something else launches, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the first thing that I purchased, I purchased one of these little makeup fixing sprays. So they have come out with three fixing sprays, um, and they brought them out for the girls. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like the first collection they brought out, they brought out three palettes for the girls, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, Monica and Phoebe. Um, and they brought out lipsticks, lip glosses, that kind of thing. Um, so this time they have launched three like little mini fixing sprays. So they've launched them for the girls. Um, so it's just, I think pretty sure it is literally just Rachel, Monica and Phoebe. And they all like smell differently, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think Rachel's one smells of strawberries. I think Phoebe smells either Phoebe's or Monica's. So that smells like mm, pineapple. And then there's one that also smells like citrus. I think Monica's might be citrus and Phoebe's might be pineapple. Something like that. It could be that, it could be the other way around. But yeah, I've decided to pick up the strawberry one because strawberries, to me, smell nice. I like, I like, actually like the smell of pineapple as well. I don't know why I didn't pick up pine, the pineapple one. But yeah, I thought I'd go with Rachel's one for this time. They are quite small. These are retail for six six pounds each. Which, to be honest, I don't think it's actually quite, I don't think that's actually quite bad. I thought they might have put these in like a little three set, but apparently they haven't. That's cool, it doesn't bother me, like I'm not bothered, I just thought I'd pick up one to kind of like try it in today's video. So yeah, the next thing I picked up, I picked up one of the face masks, um, the, the little sheet masks, I picked up this one. This is Rachel's one. They have come out with like th the boys, the girls, and they've come out with sets as well, so you can purchase the boy set and the girl set. I'm pretty sure it's like, I think they're like £10 for three of them. Um. But yeah, in this, but this one, there's just one of them. I just picked up one of them, and this is Rachel's. Um, these retail for four pounds each. But yeah, like I said, there is like the male, the friends male sheet mask set, and the girls sheet mask set. Yes, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't. I thought I'd just get one of them to try them out to see what it was like. There are different ones for different things. For instance, this is the hydrating hyaluronic 
sheet mask there is one that's like the pink clay one there is one that's like good for blemishes that kind of thing i really think i should have picked that one up i don't know why i didn't but yeah um so these are retail for four pound each and then the next two things that i picked up i picked up two of the boys palettes yes i only picked up chandler and joey i didn't pick up ross mainly because i put a little thought on the screen i just don't wouldn't use it i wouldn't use it at all i'm not gonna lie um it's just a pretty neutral kind of basic palette which is cool it's cool and all that but i just don't think that i would get the use out of it like i would these other two because these other two are more bright and colorful so yeah that's just i'm just being honest just being honest so yeah, these, these are the boys ones. Like I said, the girl, they bought out the girls ones in the first series they did. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I was waiting for the boys ones. And now we have the boys ones. I'm excited. So this is Chandler's one. So on, on the outer box, you've got Chandler's door. Like his and Joey's door, I guess you can say. Because it was like their apartment. It's a pretty cool. And then you've got like the colour story up here. Um, the box is really, it's actually alright, like I don't, I kind of, I kept the box, I kept the boxes for all of my, like, friends' palettes, because Friends is like such, it's like one of my favourite TV shows ever, so of course, when I got sent that PR, I was like, oh my god, I was totally fangirling, so of course I decided to keep the box for everything that I had from it, which if you know me, you know that I don't keep boxes, I literally do not keep boxes whatsoever. So the fact that I kept a box for, for it, it just shows that it's special. So yeah, on the outer box you've got, again, the same thing, basically the same thing as the, the box. What? The actual palette is the same as the box on the outside, if that kind of makes sense. Um, and also on the back it does show that it has three pest pigments, which is pretty cool. So yeah, ooh, the inside. My goodness, it is colourful. It is colourful, it's got like a little sheet on it, but yeah, this is the inside of it. So this one's quite colourful, it's quite pastel as well, like you've got these like bluey green kind of shades. It's almost like you've got a blue row, a greeny kind of row with a bit of like a bronzy kind of colour on the end, and then a pink row, but yeah, I actually quite like this, it's quite colourful, isn't it? Like. This is much more colourful than the girls' ones, I like I have to say. Um, especially other than like Ross. Ross's one is very neutral, but like the girls' ones, I didn't think that they were like colourful enough. Whereas look at this. This is colour. This is colour. And I'm here for this green, I'm here for this pink. I like the names on it. It's got like Tulsa, Hello Mr. Bing, The Box, Cups, Eddie. Do you remember Eddie? I hate that guy. I hated that guy. Um, so yeah, we have this palette. I then picked up Joey's palette. Again, like I said, I didn't pick, I didn't pick up Ross's. But yeah, Joey's palette looks like this. Also, guys, these retail for £8 each. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to mention that. I don't know where my brain was. This has Rosita the Cita on it. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like the packaging on the outside, like it's quite colourful. And again, the actual palette is the same as the outer box. Um, it does have this has a couple more pressed pigments in it. This has four pressed pigments in it, which again is quite cool. And this one, oh my gosh, this one is cool. What the color story in this one? It just uh, it, it talks to me. It speaks to me on a different level. Like, can we just? Like, you've got some pretty colours in here. You've got, like, this bright pink, this green, this orange, this yellow, this lovely pink shade here. You've got this one here. You've got this lovely, like, everyday kind of shade that you can just put all over the lid. You've got Joey, which is a really nice, just neutral kind of shade. So it's going to be quite good for just an everyday kind of look. Um yeah i actually really like this and the shade names as well you've got dr drake of course dr drake memore trifle who remembers the trifle uh turkey bamboozled you've been bamboozled i love that nat partner uh tribbiani jr 
I love it. I love it. This this colour story speaks to me. This one and Chandler's, the best ones out of the mini palettes, like the best colourful ones. Um, but yeah, they retail for £8 each, which I think is actually pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. If you love Friends, then of course you're going to get them because it is Friends and because you're like a collector, I guess. Same as me, I basically got them because I'm a collector. I just, I kind of want to get Rosses, but then I'm like, I'm not going to use it. Like, I'm not even, I don't even like the colour story. But that's just my personal preference. So yeah. Okay, moving on to the things they actually sent me now. They sent me a quite a few bits, which I'm, I'm excited for. So these, the first thing they sent me, they sent me the lobster mirror. Can we talk about how big this is? Like the packaging, the, the mirror, let me get it out. So this is, this retails for £10, I believe. And it is huge. Look at this. Look how big this is. It is massive. I love it. I actually... I actually love it. I have the first one. I love the first one. It's the minute Monica's door. Pretty cool. It's actually a really big mirror. Like you can see your whole face in it. It's pretty big, as you can see. Ten pounds. I think it's actually pretty cool, and I actually love it. Like it's a lobster. If you've seen the second series that they kind of launched, they did come out with a um, like a lobster palette, which is actually a really pretty. It's a really pretty palette. Um, so yeah. Okay. The next thing that they sent me, they sent me a brush set. This is lobster as well. I'm not too sure how much this is. Let me double check. Oh, this is this is a lobster set. So this is a brush set. This is retails for twenty pounds, which I don't really know. Let's have a let's open it up and let's have a little look. So I can only see the outer packaging, and it looks quite cute. Let's see what it's like. Ooh. So it obviously has lobster on it. I kind of don't want to use this. I kind of want to like keep this for like display purposes. But yeah, like on the zipper, it's got like a little lobster as well. Like how cute is that? Love the detail. And these are the brushes that you get on the inside. Look how cute they are. And again, they have like the little lobster claws at the bottom. And these are the brushes. There's actually some really cute brushes in here. Like I would definitely use these like two blending brushes and this is like a little pencil brush that's quite cute I quite like okay next thing they sent me they sent me I feel like we were all waiting for this this is I think it's called the it Ichiban lipstick the Ichiban <laughs> I'm gonna call I think it is I think that's what it's called I really hope it is I just assumed that's what it was called because of course that's what it's called on it is the Joey lipstick Um, I don't know if it's actually called Ichiban. I don't think it is. I'm not too sure. Um, but I want to say it is. We're going to call it the Ichiban lipstick because it's lipstick for men, of course. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This is the packaging looks like. I love it. I literally love it. Um, so let's open it up. Let me open it up. Let's get inside. This is actually a lip balm. It's not a lipstick. Um, which I was kind of going about because I, I wouldn't have mind if it was like a lipstick, like kind of cool. Like, so, oh, this is the packaging. It says lipstick for men on it. Oh my God, that is so cute. If you've seen the girl's lipsticks, let me get one out. So the girl's lipsticks are like this. They're in the same packaging. They have, they have like the lipstick, the lips up here. They have the name on it. So this one is like a blue packaging it's gonna be a blue lip balm and it's got the blue lips on it at the top this is so cute so cute so yeah lipstick for men it's blue look how blue that is oh my god i love it i literally love it this retails for six pounds i will be testing this of course i will of course i kind of wanted them to come out with all the lipsticks for the boys because they've only brought out joey's one so i was kind of wanting them to bring out the other ones as well like the uh, ross and chandler's because like we're kind of waiting on it like okay yes yeah, so i forgot where i was up to because my camera decided to cut out and i just changed from 4k back to normal because it was annoying me too um so yeah, i wish they kind of came out with the the boys ones like the all the boys ones instead of just like joey's one but yeah okay um moving on to the last these two things they sent me they sent me two of the big palettes now these are from the forever flawless range so they already have like palettes like this, like this kind of like set up, but in like different colours. Um, 
But they've never done the like the like a friend's version of them, so I was really intrigued to see. So the first one they have, they have this one. This is their I'll Be There For You palette. Um, so this has got the icon iconic sofa and the iconic fountain on the background. And um, like this is like the beginning. What is it called? Like the intro? Yeah, the intro. Like, yeah. Um. So yeah, actually as well, like this building, I think it's in Hocus Pocus. If you ever seen Hocus Pocus, it's in Hocus Pocus, the film, which I just always remember. Like whenever I watch Friends, I'm like, oh my God, that's the building that was in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> um, so yeah, these palettes retail for £12 each, I believe. Um, And yeah, so this one is like more neutral. It's still really pretty though. There's some really nice shades in here. Um, There are some pressed pigments in here as well. But yeah, some really nice shades. There's a lot of like warm browny shades. There's a black, there's like a really pretty pinky shimmer shade. The shades in here are actually gorgeous. Cool shades in here. There's some really cool like shade names as well. The race car bed. I'm pretty sure, I wanna say that's in another palette as well, but I could be wrong. The dollhouse, jellyfish, of course. Yeti, um, chicken pox, Chandler's job. <laughs> Um, share food. Joey doesn't share food. Russ. Oh my god, do you remember Russ? <laughs> oh my god. Um, see, so yeah, this stuff is like more of a neutral palette. It's really pretty though. I really like it. Um, I feel like they did come out with a few like neutral palettes within their series two collection. Like with, I'm pretty sure like the lobster palette's kind of neutral, and the taxi palette as well is actually quite neutral. But yeah, we have this one. Last palette we have, we have this one. This is another like door palette. Now. From the series two, they did come out with a palette that was like with the, this thing on the door. I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna call it the door palette, cause yeah. Um, but they did have that like in the shape of the palette. I don't have it with me, so I can't show you, but yeah, it's definitely there. Um, and I actually really like this palette. The packaging is really nice. This is called the We Were On A Break palette. Of course it is. So like, I really like that. Like it's called We Were On A Break palette. And this one is super colourful. If you are into your rainbow colourful shades, this is going to be the palette for you. Because oh, look at the amount of shades that you get in here. There is mint colours, greens, purples, pinks, yellows. I think I already said greens. Yes. There's no neutral shades in here at all. At all. Like there's Maybe like two. There's probably two in here. Um, but all the other shades are like fully neutral not fully the fully colorful shades not neutral i don't know why i was saying fully neutral yeah. it names in here it's like you have a love machine if you know what i'm talking about i'm just a love machine i'm just a love machine and <laughs> um, you have fireball you have foosball chick duck bracelet porsche hey it's porsche game of cups cheesecake the cat tea leaves the tea leaves um, so for, yeah, I just love it. I love it and I love the core story as well. I am excited. Today's video, I think I'm going to be using the Joey palette. Yeah, I'm excited, the Joey palette. Um, honestly, just because I just feel like it. Like I wanna use a different kind of palette. I wanna use a colorful palette. So we're gonna be using the Joey palette today. Um, I will be doing videos on all of these palettes, you guys, just letting you know. I'll be doing full reviews, swatches, that kind of thing. But today we're going to be starting off with the Joey palette. Um, because yeah, I just kind of feel like it. But first, let's review the lip balm. Let's try on the lip balm. Wait, before I do that actually, before I even get ahead of myself, I am really sorry, I totally forgot to mention this. So they have come out online with a few different like gift sets. Um, so there's quite a few cool ones to be honest with you like you can get the Phoebe gift set the Phoebe gift set includes what does it include oh my god so the Phoebe gift set which I didn't actually know but it includes the palette it includes the lipstick it includes the lip gloss it includes the face mask and it also includes some lashes, which I didn't even know that they did lashes. But yeah, I'm hoping they bring them out separately. And they have the same, I believe, for the for the other two girls as well. 
Yep, there's the same for Rachel and there's also the same for Monica, which of course is pretty damn cool. Um, what else do they have? Um, they also have a friend's lip gloss gift set. So this includes a little makeup bag and it also includes the three girls lip glosses. So it includes Rachel and Monica and Phoebe. Um, yes. And then there is also a friend's central perk gift set. And this includes a bath bomb, which is like a coffee one, I think. It includes a coffee cup with some coffee um, like a body, coffee body scrub in it and also includes a lip balm and a lip scrub and um, what else do we have we also have another um, cosmetics bags which is the friends door one and we also have some blending sponges it's like a two pack of blending sponge one has the imprint of Monica's door thing on it and one has an imprint of a lobster on it and the last um, thing that's actually come out that's not actually out yet it's just saying coming soon on the website is like a it's like a lip set so it's for just for the girls as I can well from what I can see on the website and there is a I think there's like a lip liner and there's two lip glosses that come in the set um, which look pretty cool as well. So these they're gonna be like eight pound ninety nine. I think that is everything. Also, I can see some face masks here on this little on this little leaflet. They look like face masks, and I want them. I want them. I want them now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling. We're gonna try the lip balm, and then we're gonna jump in to testing out the eyeshadow palettes. So yes, let's get straight on into it. Try the lip balm on. It smells quite nice. I don't know what it smells like though. I want to, does it say if it has a scent online? I'm actually not too sure. Hmm. Channel your inner model with this nourishing light blue lip balm. Apply a light layer and blend out to be a nourishing clear balm or apply two to three layers for the ultimate Joey look. I'm not too sure if it's meant to smell of anything. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, so let's try it. Oh wow, it's definitely a little bit of like a blue tint to it. Um, let me like blend it out just to... Okay, so just kind of blend out a little bit. It's definitely got a lot more clearer, which is which is good. Um, but yeah, I guess if you want the like super bluey kind of shade, like Joey, then yeah, this is this is your gal. This is your gal. Go ahead quickly. I'm just gonna prime my lids, zoom you guys in, and then we're gonna test out the Joey palette. See, so yeah, I'll be right back. So I am back. Of course, gonna jump into the Joey palette now. I'm excited. We have some really pretty shades in here. I don't really know what shades to take. Like, I would usually go for like this hot pink shade, but Scott was like, no, stay away from the pinks. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Tribbiani first, which is this green shade here. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm gonna use my mirror. Of course, it's only, it's only right, isn't it? So I'm going to say Tribbiani and I'm just going to pop this on the inner portion. Oh wow, that's very light. It's pigmented though, like it is pigmented. Yeah, that shade is very pigmented. I'm then gonna go into the shade Trifle, which is this shade here. The beautiful orangey kind of shade. I'm gonna take this next two. I don't really 
really know what to do. Like, I feel like I need to do a cookbook, but I don't really know. Oh. Right off the bat, these two shades are really pigmented. They pack on really well. There's barely any fallout, like barely anything. I'm so sorry, I didn't even swatch this palette, guys. I will swatch a few of the shades after so you can see what they look like. I'm so sorry. Usually I know just to swatch it straight away, but like I'm feeling a little bit odd today, like I don't really feel myself, so I'm so sorry. This looks kind of crazy, but I'm kind of here for it. I like it, I like it. Take the shade Turkey, which is that yellow shade, this one here, and I'm just gonna like start to blend around the edges of both of these shades, I think. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like. It's that yellow shade. I think maybe it could look quite cute. I don't know why it looks dark there. I actually have not the foggiest. I feel like my brush wasn't entirely clean. I, I can't say. I don't really know what's going on with this eye. Like this eye doesn't look too bad. This eye looks really weird up there. I don't know. I can't remember what shade I used the other day with this brush. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly build up these shades again and blend them out. And we'll see where we're at. So I'm going to quickly go ahead, I'm just going to do this off camera, I'll cut my crease and then we'll be back to do a lid shade together. I'm back literally just to cut my crease a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade trifle again, this orangey shade, and I'm going to like apply this to the outer edge of the cut crease. My hair is like annoying me, like go away. I'm just going to put it on the outer edge. I did just cut my crease using the blank canvas base by P. Louise um, so yeah just in case you guys are interested to know I'm going to blend it on the outer edge there we go that looks a bit better, looks a bit more blended for the lid shade there's only like I said there's only like one shade that I can take which is like Nap Partner which is the shade here that looks gorgeous I can't even lie, let me swatch junior i mean that one's quite cute as well do i go in with like both i'm not really too sure do i just stick you know what what, what we're gonna do what we're gonna do to be on the safe side because i'm not too sure i'm just gonna take the shade nap partner i'm gonna apply that to the lid let's see how well this picks up with a brush it might be better with my finger Hmm. it's not applying the best with a brush again it could be just this brush might need a different brush i'm going to use a different brush let's just see if this works sometimes this brush works better it completely depends on the shade sometimes you might just need your finger your shades are it's a little bit better with this brush, but not 
like the best. Very crumbly. Let me try my finger. It might be better with my finger. That's definitely better with my finger. It's a really pretty shade. That shade is really pretty though, like really pretty. You know, I don't think I want to go in with the shade Junior. I think I just want to leave it at this. Keep it quite just plain and plain and simple kind of. I'm also just gonna take that sh that partner shade onto the, the inner portion like the inner corner. Kind of like that, that looks cute. Yes. Yes, I like that. I actually quite like this. Actually quite nice. I haven't used that many shades, to be fair as well. I've literally used like four shades, which I think is actually actually alright. And I've still managed to create a pretty cool pretty cool look. It'll definitely look better when I have like my lashes and everything on. So yeah. Um I'm gonna quickly go ahead. I'm just gonna finish off this eye, do my base, everything, and then I'll come back to kind of give you guys my final thoughts on the palette and also to test out the mini setting spray because of course I've got this to try as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do that and then I'll be right back. Guys, that I am back. This is how the look is looking, I guess. I actually quite like it. I think it's quite cool. It's quite a cool, funky look. So yeah, the last thing we've got to try is the setting spray. I'm kind of excited. Um, I don't really know. I don't, usually don't use setting sprays to be honest with you. I kind of just like leave it, leave my makeup to just do its thing. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get one of the mini setting sprays. It was only six pound. We'll try it. We'll see. So this is the energizing fixing spray with hyaluronic and caffeine hyaluronic and caffeine i'm gonna be a little shake it's got a little ball in it let me just see what the mist is like oh uh, damn. Mm. i wouldn't really say it smells of strawberry as such but i don't know whether that's just me or not let me spray it on my face let's see Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's quite strong. It's quite powerful. It's okay. I don't mind it. It's, it's quite nice. It definitely feels very refreshing. Um, it's quite a harsh mist. It's not like the Morphe setting mist, that kind of thing. It's not like that nice. It's not like that. It's like a, it's quite harsh on the face however it feels quite nice i don't know whether it smells of strawberries or not i kind of can't smell strawberries i can smell something else but it's not a bad smell however i know a lot of people don't like smelly scents in products so if you don't like that kind of thing you might not like this but yeah just a little heads up just to let you know so yeah um this is the finished look what do you guys think i really like it really like it I feel very like I feel very like what's the word citrusy <laughs> I don't know I naturally don't know but I actually like it um so let's talk about some of the products obviously I can't talk about the palettes that I haven't used today of course like I said I will be doing separate reviews on them that will be coming soon um as soon as I like film them so yeah let's talk about the lip balm I quite like this probably wouldn't use it in my everyday at work kind of life you know like what you just put on at work a quick little lip balm i probably wouldn't use it there because i'd be walking around with blue lips um but i definitely agree that you can just apply a light layer and blend it out and it won't be like super strong it's it's quite nice um but again if i did ever want blue lips i would pick this up i really would i would i would probably use this it smells nice yeah, it smells nice. It's nice and hydrating. It feels nice as a balm. I, I don't hate it. I can't... I don't hate it. 
if you are a true friends fan i feel like you will love this you will love it okay let's talk about the palette i love this palette oh my god i look at this and i feel inspired i am going to swatch it as well for, for you guys by the way because i totally forgot to swatch it at the beginning but i am um, i would i look at this and i feel inspired i think you know what the next look i can do i can use the pink i can use it with the green i can do a green and pink look i can also then do just an orange and a yellow look or i can use the pink with the orange and the yellow i can use the green with the pink like i just said i can use all of them shades all of the shades together if i wanted to um i actually like this shade as well i feel like that, that'll be really nice especially if you're like a pale skin tone like me to like just buff into the crease then just put like a nap partner all over the lid because it's a beautiful shade that would probably work with a lot of the, with a lot of other shades i like it i'm here for it so i'm gonna swatch a couple of the shades uh, i won't swatch the whole palette i don't think do i should i just swatch the whole palette this pink shade looks gorgeous they all the shimmers in this palette all kind of feel very like i don't know what the right word is they feel kind of weird but they do look amazing there's some of the shades swatched to be honest they swatch really nicely that pink looks amazing it kind of reminds me of the pink in the beauty bay nikki palette um that hot like, i mean the pink shimmer i mean the, that hot pink shades look amazing phenomenal but yeah when using this palette honestly they packed on and blended out beautifully um, I literally don't have a bad word to say about the mattes. The shimmer, it was kind of difficult to work with in terms of applying it with a brush. It just took a little bit longer and it worked better when I apply, applied it with my finger. But I did need to go in with a brush to like get around the edges, that kind of thing. It just took a little bit of like working with. However, it still applied beautifully. It's still a gorgeous shade. Like it looks so sparkly and like foiled and I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, for £8, honestly, this palette is amazing. And yeah, if you like this color story, it's so weird. Like, it's really unique. I kind of wish they had a different pink shade, like a different pink shimmer shade in here, because they have like two. I wish they'd put something else in there. I'm not too sure what. Maybe like an orange shimmer or something. Or like, I don't know. Yeah, like an orange shimmer. That would have been quite cute. But yeah, I really like this palette. I really like the color story. It is phenomenal it's phenomenal i love it i kind of prefer these two boy palettes over like all the girl palettes like i like rachel's one i like Mo like monica's one isn't that bad but phoebe's is a bit like i sh when it comes to using that palette like i really struggle like i really don't know what to kind of use and what to kind of like put together um but this palette i really like it and i'm so glad they came out with a mini colorful palette because Yes, I love colour. I love colour. Okay, moving on to the fixing spray. I actually quite like it. The mist is quite harsh on it. However, I actually quite like it. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's quite pretty. Um, I, I'm going to continue to test it. I'm going to test it because today is basically over. Like I'm filming this in like the late evening, like it's half six now. Um, so I'm going to try this like on a day where I'm going to be wearing makeup all day just to see how long it lasts. Because obviously I'm not going to be wearing makeup for the rest of the day. I'm going to like, I'm going to make a dinner and then take this off. Um, so I won't be able to get like a good wear test out of it. But yeah, it's not changed my makeup. It was quite heavy to put on at first. But I actually quite like it. And I love a good fixing mist. I just don't really use them that often I don't know why I just kind of don't but yeah if you're looking for like to test out like a new little fixing spray six pounds you actually can't go wrong so grab one of these because yeah so yeah I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel like I said I will be testing out the Chandler palette the we're on a break palette and the I'll be there for you palette um they'll be coming as soon as I can film them and edit them and that kind of thing so hopefully within the next week or two um I probably won't be testing out the brushes because I just don't feel like I need to like 
I like Revolutions brushes anyway and I have done like a testing video trying some of them out. Um, I do want to try this. So once I've tried this, if I like it, I'll let you guys know. If I've tried it before like the next video or like whenever I've done the video, if I've tried this out and I have liked it, I'll let you guys know. Um, but I'm kind of intrigued to use this and... It looks really nice and I just love it. Of course, everything else that I'm wearing, I'll link in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. And as always, I'll be linking my social media handles above and also in the description box down below in case you want to check me out there. See you guys in my next video. Bye!